to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to fake a clean house. I feel like I'm a master of it. I think you guys think my house is spotless, but if you were to actually walk in my house and look at everything, it is totally not. We live here, we work here 24 seven and we have a child and two dogs. So it's in no way spotless. So I'm going to show you a few tricks that I've learned along the way. I'm also going to save my favorite tip for the very last one. So definitely watch the entire video. And if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Now let's get into the video. Okay, I'm gonna show you what my house started off like. It's not super messy, you guys know I don't like it super dirty, but there were things left out from the night before and breakfast. Savannah had also brought me all of her laundry and bedding, so there was things that needed to be clean. Um, my number one tip is to work on the smell. So that's the most important thing I feel like. Somebody can walk into your house and it can be spotless, but if it smells like dog or just dirt or anything, it's just gonna feel dirty. So I'm just gonna pull out the water bottle. I don't know if you noticed, I pulled it out from that drawer. I just like to keep a few water bottles down there full and I just refill them as needed. And then I also keep my essential oils in that drawer just so it's nice and convenient and I don't have to walk back and forth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that going. You could light a candle, you could use a Scentsy, you could have a wall plug-ins. Totally do what's best for your household. I just love using my diffuser because I get headaches really easily. Okay, and my next tip is just to tidy up as best as you can. Now we're not doing a real deep clean, we're faking it here. So I'm just throwing away the trash, I'm putting notes in the drawer. When I go to put all the dishes in the sink, um, my dishwasher's full so I don't even have time to load it and I'm not gonna unload it because I'm faking it once again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse out my dishes um, just really well and I'm gonna put them all on the left side of my sink and then I'm just gonna cover it with a hand towel so if somebody comes over, they don't have to see my dirty dishes. I don't have to look at them. They don't smell. And then always put fresh hand towels up. So if somebody has to come wash their hands, they're not using a dirty rag. And then I'm also going to put any of the like appliances away that we had used. If it was a blender or toaster, and I'm just going to go from space to space, just tidying up as quickly as I can and just putting all those items close to their home or back in a space just so they're not all over the floor. I obviously don't have time to do all this laundry if I'm fake cleaning, especially if somebody's stopping by unannounced. So I'm just gonna throw all of her laundry into my laundry room. Nobody goes in there anyways. I also have a basket in my living room. Um, Savannah had folded towels for me last night, but I don't have time to put them away because once again, this is just like a quick tidy up. So I'm gonna put it in there in my laundry room, turn off the light and shut the door and nobody knows, nobody will be in there. Another tip is just go around shutting your doors. If your bed's not made or the rooms are messy, all you have to do is turn off the light and shut the door and guests know not to go in there. Um, I like to go down to Savannah's room or side of her house and shut those doors just in case they go in that guest bathroom they don't peek in and see a mess and I just feel like that's really easy to do another thing is just kind of fluff your pillows give them a karate chop you don't have to work on your whole sofa but just doing a little bit here and there makes things look clean and then I keep a blanket right here because George sits there but I can move it real quickly and there's no hair on that sofa if a guest comes in to sit down now we don't have toys out anymore but I know a lot of you have younger kids so when Savannah was little I just used baskets around my house and all you have to do is pull out a few blankets, stuff in those toys, and then cover it back with a blanket, and nobody will ever know. You can put it back in its home later, but if you're just trying to move quick, it's an easy way to hide it. Um, storage ottomans are always awesome. I've always had them in my house. They look pretty, so they're nice decor, but you can also cram toys in there, keep blankets, games, whatever you need for your kids, and then all you have to do is throw a blanket or a pillow on it, and it's a nice piece of furniture. So if you have kids and not a lot of storage, definitely look into ottomans. I love pieces that serve more than one purpose. And then once again, if you can't afford those, just grab a cheap basket and blankets. And then I use a dresser as my TV stand and it is also great for hiding things. Here's my essential oils. As you can see, it's not super organized inside, but it's not decluttered on my dresser. I keep George's towels in here. I keep our beach towels in here. So definitely find pieces that can serve more than one purpose. 
So this one goes back to the smell of the house. If I have somebody coming over, I definitely have to grab this chi for dogs. It smells amazing. I stood in PetSmart for like an hour smelling scents because I get a headache and I wanted something I could spray on George. He tends to be smelly. Tiger has never had a smell to him, but George does. So if I'm trying to fake a clean house and somebody's gonna stop by, I just spray him down real quickly and I always get compliments that he smells so good. So definitely check that out if you need to. Now I'm gonna head into our guest bathroom and I once again grab a new hand towel even if that's all you have time for. I also keep paper towels out for our guests so they don't have to use hand towels but I like to keep a fresh one out anyways. That'll definitely make your bathroom feel dirty if they look at it. But my old one I go ahead and just kind of dampen with water and I wipe things down. Just the mirror from like where Savannah's brushed her teeth and it's messy. I wipe down the faucet. I dry out the sink and just taking a few seconds to do that the bathroom is going to feel so much cleaner and then if I have time I also like to go ahead and do the toilet paper stamp. I know this is a little much but I feel like when you take time to do little bitty tricks like this it tricks the eye and they think the bathroom's all the way clean because it's like wow she took the time to stamp her bathroom toilet paper then it's definitely clean. Another thing you can check quickly is your rug. If it looks super dirty, go ahead and just pick it up and throw it over the bathtub and that will hide it because you may not have time to wash it. And if it's dirty, you don't want to leave it out. If it's smelly, you don't want to leave it out. So you can just throw it real fast in the bathtub and nobody will know. Um, another thing if you have time for is go clean your front porch. Now obviously we're faking a house here, clean house, so we're not going to clean the whole front porch. But if you can just wipe off or clean off the area that they're going to be standing to ring your doorbell, just clean off your doormat. Make sure there's no spider webs just right there in that front area. Typically they're not going to be looking around, but they will be seeing just like your mat and your front door. So just take a few moments to get that area nice and fresh for your guests. Okay, and the last thing I work on, only if I have time, are my countertops. I feel like you can double win with this. Not only does it make your kitchen look nice and fresh, but it once again is going to go back to helping your house smell fresh and clean when your guests come into it. Um, even if you have time just to wipe down like one cabinet, it'll definitely help. So if I don't have time to do all my cabinets, I'll at least do my island because we tend to go over there, like gravitate that way and stand there and talk. I'm not going to go do my dining room table because we never end up over there. So just kind of figure out the areas when guests come over that you gravitate to sit at or talk at and get those areas clean. Okay, so this is what my house looks like. And from far away, when you first walk in my door, it looks clean, it looks spotless. There's not a ton of clutter out, there's no messes. So here's my kitchen up close. And then I'm gonna real quick show you my dining room up close. It looks good, but now we're gonna take you a little closer. My floors are dirty, there's grass over them, there's smudges, there's footprints. My coffee table even has a grass on it, probably from George. There's dirty dishes in my sink. My stove is dirty. I've actually cooked at it, which means it's dirty. <laughs> Here's my refrigerator up close. It needs to be cleaned. That's probably how all my stainless steel looks. This is my island. I need to wipe it down. I need to touch it up. George has scratched it in the paint. My dining room table still has breakfast crumbs on it. And then if we head on over to my desk, Savannah's shoes are crammed underneath it. George's towel's all messed up. And if you look at my computer screen, it's a mess from all the fingerprints. So from far away, everything looks nice and clean, but I have things hidden in baskets. I have things hidden in ottomans. If you really start to look at my house, it's definitely not spotless. Um, and then just remember in my laundry room, if you open up that door, it's full of laundry. But like I said, when you first walk into the house, it looks just fine. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can see in those clips, from far away, you can trick your eye, and my house looks clean, it looks spotless, but as I kind of took the camera closer, you could tell my floors still have grass on them, they're still dirty, they have smudges. Um, as I was walking around my dining room, Savannah has shoes like underneath the desk, the dog's water bowl and towel area was all messy, <laughs> my sink is still full of dirty dishes, so you can definitely trick that eye just in case somebody's coming over or your husband's coming home and you want him to come to a clean house or you just want to fake it to make it for the day you kind of want to relax in the evening in a somewhat clean house there are definitely ways to fake it but my number one tip is decluttering you can fake it so much better when your home is decluttered I've had both homes and I will always choose this way I think a cluttered clean home will still always look a little bit dirtier than my clean decluttered home just because it's the eye if the eye sees tons of stuff out it thinks it's dirty even if it's just like decor or you know appliances stuff like that now this is totally your preference I'm not saying anything is right or wrong I'm just telling you the easiest way to fake a clean house is the less you have the less dirty it looks the less you have to clean I spend so much time I used to spend so much time cleaning my house when I had tons of shelves full of knickknacks and decor now that there's less out there's less to do there's less things to put away so I'm going to show you my kitchen a little before and after if I were to leave everything out that we use on a daily basis this is what it would look like and then you can see how I keep it so let me show you a few clips right here Okay, so this is how my kitchen looks currently. I don't have a ton of appliances out. We do have a coffee pot. Um, I do have my knives out and some pictures, but I don't keep like my toaster out or blender. I don't keep out utensils. I just keep it very basic and streamlined. But now I'm gonna show you if I kept out everything that we use on a daily basis. So it's like paper cups, um, my cooking utensils, toaster, blender, more hand towels, I could have filled this up even more, but look at the difference of how much dirtier my kitchen looks or just busier. To me, busier means dirtier. I know that's not the case, but to me, my eye just looks at it and it looks like there's stuff everywhere. So I definitely, this is a preference. So if you like your kitchen full, do what makes you happy, but looking at this tends to stress me out. So I'm gonna show you one more time what it looks like with not a lot out. To me, it's just a little more simple and a little more calming. Okay, what did you all think? Can you tell a difference? I know here in person, I can tell a huge difference. Um, I remember trying this out thinking, okay, I'm just gonna clear everything off and see if I like it, and I did, and I loved it, and I never went back. So I definitely encourage you to try it. If you have a lot of stuff on your countertops, just move it to your like kitchen table or dining room table and try leaving it uncluttered for a few days and just see what you think. I know we use like our toaster and blender almost every day, but I don't mind just tucking it away when I'm done. I don't have to look at it. It doesn't get dusty. It doesn't get grimy from cooking. And so I've just really enjoyed doing it this way. So it's always fun to try something new, but I get this is totally a personal preference. So do what works best for your household and your family. Um, I also feel like this video is great if you have like company coming over unexpectedly or you know you want to surprise your husband or anything like that. And don't forget, you can always use your kids. Most of us have kids in our household. Have them go chop the pillows have them throw stuff in the laundry room and shut the door they can run around closing doors you can definitely get a lot done in a short time frame if you have to you just have to move real quick <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope you learned something new and if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe before you leave and if you guys enjoyed it definitely give it a thumbs up or a like it helps my channel out a lot and I will see you guys in the next one bye